So we've just uh, finished a service of thanksgiving for the completion of works to the Ballinasloe Town Clock and we've just rededicated the clock to the people of Ballinasloe. It's been a, a civic service which has been led by Bishop Kenneth Keir in the Church Rally Bishop of Limerick with Bishop Michael Dykeman, the Bishop of Clonfert. It's a service that has been supported and sponsored by the Credit Union who have uh, sponsored the works to the town clock as their 50th anniversary project, a gift back to the town. In the context of this service here tonight, we brought forward symbols of the work that has gone on in this clock restoration project, and we've done that with the Ballinastone Town Band and choirs from the local churches uh, and, and local dignitaries. We've had a, a wonderful crowd here this evening. I think this evening was a tremendous coming together of all elements of the community. We had social, we had religious, we had everybody together celebrating and thanking uh, God for the, the occasion that was in it. So the, uh, the surround which held the time clock in place had uh, developed quite a serious fault. There were cracks in it and the masonry was uh, at risk of falling. So the whole surround has been removed and replaced with new cut stone. Uh, the top of the tower has been repointed to stop further uh, damp, damaging the clock in going forward. Uh, the faces have been repainted mm -hmm. uh, and the hands and uh, numerals have been repainted in gold leaf. Uh, we have a new lightning conductor put on the yes. tower so that if there's a storm, we don't undo our good work. Um, and uh, the, we wanted the town clock to chime the hour again. It used to many years ago, but not for a long time, mm -hmm. Adrian. And so we've uh, put in supports into the bell tower and fixed the me chiming mechanism so the town clock mm. chimes the yes. hour again. Yes, and uh, you know, it's, the clock tower here is one of the symbols of Alan Slow. It, it stands above the town. I think it's a great symbol uh, of the town and the fact that it's, it's there for over a century. And we've been delighted on our behalf to support the church in its restoration. So the, the clock was originally donated to the people of Banlaslow to the town commissioners in 1901. This church was restored in that year after a fire some two years previously uh, and so it is the town's mm -hmm. clock and it's quite exceptional. The time it was built it was thought to be one of the very finest of its kind in the whole country. It has four faces all which work off the same mechanism. There are very few clocks in the world that do that big bend springs to mind but mm -hmm. there aren't many like it. It is a treasure and a treasure that the Credit Union had the vision to restore for all the generations who come after us. Yes, because uh, to mark the 50th anniversary, we had lots of ideas, of town park, park benches, things like that. But we, we consider the clock has been something more enduring to that, and something that meant more to the town, and for something that was needed. And as as um, Reverend John has said, you know, it is quite similar to the mechanism in Big Ben, so it's got a lot of things going for it. And I think as well to pay tribute to Kevin and Martin, who kept it going down all down the years, because uh, you know it's quite frightening to go up there, some of it is quite shaky, there are little thin steps of ladders and things, so it's a great honour to them to be here tonight as well, to participate in, in the celebrations. And obviously for the Church of Ireland community who worship in St John's Church week in, week out, we're overjoyed to host this very special service with the Credit Union and the two bishops and the whole community here, it's a great source of joy for us.